Shall we taste the silence of the most expensive bottle of beer I've reviewed on this channel to date? It's beer o'clock and today I'm quite excited about this. We have a bottle of Le Trap Quadruple Oak Aged coming in at 11% ABV. Now, they've been producing these since 2009. These, um, the Conitoven Brewery has been producing these La Trappe um, Oak Age Quadruples. We got realised about um, La Trappe Brewery down at um, Conitoven is they invented the quadruple. So, and, and it's a Dutch brewery. This is not a Belgian brewery, this is a Dutch brewery. So, I so say these guys invented um, the quadruple. Now, depending where you go to buy this beer, it ranges um, from £17 to £23.99, £25 a bottle. I paid £17 for this bottle. Um, let's pull it out of the bottle and show you it. Now this is actually 37.5 cillilitres is, is the bottle, sorry milliliters, yeah 35, yeah 37.5 cillilitres 375 mil. That's uh, the bottle and it's got, oh, oh, I do love these corks, <laughs> have a bit of fun with them and it comes in the box. Now what they've done to date is since 2009, they've just produced batch 34 and every every one of these will tell you the actual batch. So this one here is batch 32. Now batch 32 is it's actually aged in uh, a white wine, a, a Gaelic white wine uh, cask for 75% of its time. Then it's, in, then it's 10% is in a, in, a, in, a, in a new oak um, medium cask and a new um, oak high toast and a new Arcacia medium toast. So it's been 75% in the white wine cask and it's 10% in the, the new oak medium toast and 10% uh, in the new oak high toast and 5% in the new Arcacia medium toast cask. So it gets moved around a bit this beer um, and it usually takes around two years, um, two, two and a half years to do one of these batches. Um, they use different, you know, there's bourbon, bourbon barrels they put them in, um, Malbec, port, it's all different barrels, each batch is different, um, so this one's batch 32. So what we do, we'll crack this open and we'll get it in the glass. A bit sort of nerve-wracking it, doing a, the most, ex, this is the most exciting, the most expensive beer to date that we're, we're doing on this channel. And I hate opening these with these corks. If you're not careful, they can explode. Slowly coming. Oh, that would have flown off. That definitely would have flown off. So there we go. Let's cork out the bottle. And uh, let's get it in the glass. And uh, yeah, again, you want the sort of like, uh, this is a, the, the, the specific La Trappe glass. So you want a chalice type glass for this beer. Let's pour it out. There we go. So what have we got? Let's get the aroma of this. Yeah, 
Yeah, fantastic. Right, so we've got it's a dark ruby red. Um, it's got a nice one finger head on there. Lots of, I don't know if you can hear it, lots of carbonation. It's really fizzing away. Get the aroma. I'm getting sort of dried tropical fruit, um, sort of dates, raisins, sultanas, um, it's sort of a sweet caramels, and there's, there's a bit of a honey sort of s smell there. Um, really does smell nice. There's a lot of complex uh, depth in that. Um, the batch of white wine they use, the, the barrels from the batch of white wine, is from sort of the uh, near Toulouse in uh, France. And it's sort of the sort of still and sparkling white wines that they produce. And so these are the barrels. I was really expecting when I sort of picked it up and sort of done a bit of research on it and found out it's a white wine barrel. I was expecting I'm going to get a bit of a winey smell, but I'm not actually. I'm not a lover of white wine either. So I think I would detect it if it was there, but it's not. So let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Yes, this is very deep, meaningful, and complex. <sighs> it's quite an explosive punch in the mouth. This beer, it's big, big, big on uh, on sort of flavours that I'm getting through. A lot of vanilla notes. I really am getting these sort of raisins there. As a matter of fact, it's a bit. It's a bit sort of Cadbury's fruit and nut, if you know what I mean. There's a sort of, with the malts, it sort of is a sort of chocolatey back note. Um, and yeah, I actually am um, actually the the sort of raisin side of this is quite acidic. Um, it's quite an acidic finish, but that's obviously because it's been a white wine barrel. But it's like when you eat Cadbury's fruit and nut. When you bite into the raisins, they're quite acidic, aren't they? And I can actually. Oh, that sounds weird Can't comparing this beer to, to this, this 17 pound bottle of beer to, to a bar of fruit and nut. It's quite, quite mad, isn't it, when you think about it sometimes about beer. What you what goes through your mind when you're drinking a beer and what you tend to like compare it to. You know, sometimes like a lot of these sours and that you, you start comparing them to Haribos, you know. Um this one here is definitely um, yeah, it's, it's, it's fruit and nut to me, it's, you've got that sweetness of the chocolate, the raisin.
raisins. And there's a slight nuttiness in there as well. Um, it is it's very low on the bitterness. It's a well-balanced sweetness with this Now, don't get me wrong, this, is, this acidity in it is not overpowering, but it's just right. Um, next time you have raisins, you'll know what I'm on about. It's a really, really fantastic beer. Is it worth the money though? I think it is. I think it is worth the money. Every penny. You get, get what you pay for. And you're getting a beer here that is so well balanced, so finely brewed. Um, the attention to detail that's gone into this brew, into this is is fantastic. It is just the more I sip it, the better it becomes. You know, because now the palate is adjusting to it. Beautiful tasting beer. It actually doesn't feel like you're drinking an 11% beer either. It feels like you're drinking um, something about 7%, uh, which is a bit worrying, really. It's it's too nice this beer. It's it's so nice. I don't want the glass to end, if it, or the bottle to end, if you know what I mean. Um, this is just... Oh, I'd love to sit in a town square somewhere with a, with, a, with a glass of this, sipping away and watching the world go by. I, I can't think of any better experience for this beer. Um, look, it's a lot of money. I got this from beautiful beers in Bury St Edmunds. Um, you know, 17 quid, people are probably give 17 quid for a bottle of beer. 17 quid? Are you mad? Um, no, I don't think I am mad. Um, I think if you've got 17 quid um, and you want to treat yourself to a beer that is excellent. Well, we got to think of is some of these craft beers. They're eight or nine pound a bottle or a can, you know. So you're only really um, putting a little bit more money to it. And when you think about it, is a pint in a lot of places now a decent pint, you know, like a a decent pint of beer. Um, is getting on to a fiver nowadays, you know. And if you take that, that's say say a, a four point five percent beer. Two and a half pints is twelve pound fifty, and you just about hit sort of eleven percent ABV. So twelve pound fifty, seventeen quid for a a half pint of eleven percent ABV. You know, that's the way I look at it. It's, you know, you're just putting a few more pounds in the pot to experience something which I think if you're a, if you're a serious beer drinker and you're passionate about beer, I think you have to um, have a bottle of this. It's the same as which I will be doing in, in the future, the, the West Vletarian 12. 
which you know they really really rate about and, and that's not a cheap bottle of beer to buy either um yeah i think well i think if you're serious about beer you've got to give this but this a try um if you look if you don't like white wine go for one of the other batches you know um batch 33 was um us bourbon and batch 34 is um your Malbec. So I'd like to actually try and get off some more batches and do. Um because because of the difference, you know, every time they bring out I think it's gonna be a case of every time they bring out a new batch, I'm gonna to have to try and get a bottle of this now. Um because A a little treat, eh? <laughs> and B is you the subscribers gonna to wanna to know about it and know what it tastes like and you'll probably laugh at me paying 17 quid for another bottle of beer but hey hey oh no look literally if you're passionate about beer go and source a bottle of this right try it leave a comment below give us a thumbs up um, hit that little bell get notified every time I uh, bring out a video and subscribe to the channel without your subscribers the channel nothing and uh, I, love, I love the interaction I'm getting with a few of you now. And uh, like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night.